<laughs> Can I read minds now? Alright go ahead brah, go ahead. Okay this one say, yo daddy so stupid he doesn't even know what year did World War II start and when did it end? Ah ha 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 ha. Easy! September of 1939 to the second of 45. Man lil kid that was easy, when you learned that? Henry and Patrick? Okay next one say, yo daddy so ugly when he was born, he looked like a reindeer carrying a box of fake acorns. That's what the card says G. Time out. Nadine. Um. Hi. Hi Huey, is Riley here? Huey. Um, yes, yes he is, he's hiding behind the couch. You can um, come in and talk to him. Thank you, Riley. Riley. Roar. Ah. Ha 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 ha. Riley, I almost peed myself. I'm not Riley. I'm Special Agent John Bowser. I know it's you, Riley. Don't you ever do that to me again. Okay, you won. Serves you right. What the hell are you doing at my crib, Nadine? Didn't I dump you like weeks ago? Didn't you look for another negro like I told you? First, no I didn't look for another. Man, second, I came to check on you. What are you checking on me for, Nadine? We are not together anymore. I know, but I still think of you as a friend. Well I don't think of you as a friend. Now get out of here. Riley? Why are you trying to get rid of me? If you think I'm still unhappy about you dropping out of school, I'm not. I'm fine about it. It's your life. You do what you want. I'm going out for a jog. Wanna come watch? It's fall, Nadine. I know. I just want to feel the breeze while jogging. It feels so nice. I'm a pass. Okay, so I'll see you later. I was wrestling with a dog in the grass. I tried tackling him but my face fell in some mud. Also I swallowed a worm. Oh. Eel. I'm a go. Ha! I lied biatch. I just didn't want to kiss your ass. Ha 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 ha. That has nothing to do with me. No! Man up Riley. Huey, Nadine's hurt. She's outside. Like what actually happened? I was going out for a jog around the block and I slipped in a pile of marbles. Marbles? Riley, did you tell the kids next door to pick up the marbles they was playing with in front of the crib? No. Why didn't you tell them? They was gone already. Why didn't you pick them up for them? What I look like, a yard keeper? I need to go to an emergency room. How? You're not bleeding are you? I'm not bleeding, but it hurts really bad. Ow. Riley, why didn't you come outside and help? You hurt yourself. That was your problem, not mine's. You couldn't come outside and call for help or something? I did call for help. I called Huey. God, Riley, you are so freaking P.O. <laughs> okay, everybody be quiet. Nutteen? We'll go to the emergency room. I drive. Thank you. And can we, um, go like right now? Please? The pain in my leg is worsening. Yay, come on. Can we go to the emergency room right now please? Yes we can go, come on. Um Riley, that means you too. What am I going for? This is your ex, you should still show support for her, now get up and come on. I don't need to show support to her, 
We're not together anymore. Riley, I don't care, I said. H E L L L L L L L L. Fine. I'll come. I don't know why I had to come. I didn't break her leg. Keep on with the hate, Riley. Your hatred towards Nadine will be shared on USA Today one day. Good. That means I'll be even more famous. Yay, you'll be famously known for a Negro who broke up with a girl just because they refused to drop out of school. Riley, in case you forgot, I dumped you. But I still love you. You still love me? Girl, please. Riley, why do you have to be so childish? I told you it's your life. You can do whatever you want. I am doing what I want. I'm letting you go find another Negro. The hell you do that for? Something came in my head. I said if Riley ever said the words to Nadine find another Negro again, I smack him. And I was thinking, if Huey put his hands on me again, any girl we see, I let them know that Tatiana was born a man. Um Huey? Huey? Huey, the road is that way. Huey, look at the road. Huey. Look straight. Huey, please look at the road. I already have a broken leg. I really don't want to get it amputated. Please. Thank God. I thought we was gonna die. Ganadeen, what made you go out and go for a jog? What? Trino track runner to meet Allison Felix? Funny but I have no time for jokes Huey. Yeah my bad, name, Nadine Divers right? Yes. Age? 16. 16. Date of birth? Riley never told you the day I was born. Nah. My date of birth is January 17, 2005. Okay. Mother and father's name? Give me it. Here. Your father's name is Sean Divers the lame and punk ass Negro? Why you put that on here? My father's a jerk. I hate him so much I wish he was. Okay, I'm sorry for skin that. Never mind that. Man, these magazines are hot. Bruh, I gotta make a deal with the doctors. Dom. Excuse me, are you a bit too young to be reading that? Yeah, but uh, I'm just looking at the, the, men pages. You know I might wanna become like one of them one day. You know, when I turn 21. Lord teens and young guns these days are something else I don't know what to do. What's wrong with us? What we act stupid? Weren't you a kid or a teen when hip hop was made? Look all you gotta do is talk to him, I mean he has a job nowadays. Now what if he refuses? If he refuses, he's an idiot, I did make him come here with us just to make him show support. Okay I'll give it a try. Okay now you're talking. All done with the paperwork? Yes here. Okay I'd like for the both of you to come with me. Okay? So I'm just curious, are you guys gonna be giving me surgery? Well what they'll be doing is putting an x-ray on your injury to check if you'll be requiring a cast or not. So I'm not gonna be needing any needles or nothing like that? No, you should be just fine. They're going to put your injured leg in an x-ray to see if it's broken. Anyway we're getting close to your room, just a few doors down. Okay. So, if I'm gonna look like one of the guys on the mags, I gotta dress professionally. In fact... Okay, so this is where you will be. Okay. The doctors are gonna sit you down, they're gonna put your injured leg on an x-ray. Okay, I'll... Huey, I'm scared. Nadine, take it easy, I'm right here. I'd like to hold your hand, but Riley might catch me. Riley ain't gone do a damn thing. Me and him is not together like he's been telling you. I'm sorry, I just never been in a hospital, and I'm just... frustrated and... depressed. Nadine. 
I mean, I still love Riley, but he just doesn't show it back to me. What can I do? I mean why don't you just um, greetings from Dr. Freeman. You must be Nadine. Diverse? No. Well I guess I have the wrong room number, I'm looking for a, Nadine Divers in room 13B. I'm Nadine Divers, and this is room 13B. Ooh. Okay. So I hear that you have a serious injury with your... Wait, hang on a second. Yes sir. Riley? Riley. No no sir, I'm not Riley, I'm um... Doctor. Andre. Cedric. Ryan Freeman. Andre Cedric Ryan Freeman. Let me see the mustache. Ah, damn. Riley? Okay, it's me. Riley Freeman. Riley what the hell are you doing impersonating a doctor? You could get arrested doing that man. I was reading this magazine about being a wealthy and intelligent man, and a lot of them are doctors. I was practicing to be one. Well you won't get rich for being a doctor impersonator, you'll get an amount of month or years in the pin. Understood. Thank you Captain Obvious. You need to take all that off before a real doctor catches you wearing it. Okay. Hurry, because I think I hear one coming. Damn! Are you or someone with a patient named Nadine Divers? Yes, doctor. Are you Nadine Divers? Yes, I am, doctor. Okay, so what seems to be your problem, Miss Divers? I was out to jog around the block and I fell and hurt my leg. Oh my, sorry to hear that. Looks like I'm going to have to put your injured leg on the x-ray. Okay. Nadine's injury is placed on an x-ray. My goodness, girl that injury looks really horrible. Wow. That look like a chopped tree branch. I better take all this off, before a real doctor catches me wearing it and I get in trouble. Excuse me. I'm in my room with a patient and HE has a serious injury. Can you help me with it? Um. What kind of? <coughs> Sounds like you need some help. Come on. You know for a second I thought I would have to take a shot. Not a shot was required. But I recommend you to tell your mother about your leg, and when you get home, rest your leg for the next 48 hours, and if you can, take some pain medicine. Pain medicine? Acetaminophen. The medicine for 4 to 17 year olds. That's if, your leg is still in pain. Because if you come back here and you talking about your leg still in pain you gon' be in one of our beds. And I ain't talking about staying here for no 4 to 6 hours or 8 to 10. <laughs> yes, doctor. I ain't laughing. You better take care of that leg, because I don't want to see your face over here again. Take care. Weird ass doctor. Ah, oh, screw her. Everybody say she lived with the big sloth from It's a Big Big World. Yay. She said I just need to go home and rest my leg for the next 48 hours, and take some pain medicine. Pain medicine? Yes, she said I have to take acetaminophen medications, you know like Motrin, Tylenol, Advil, stuff like that. Okay, well let's hurry up and get you home so you can rest your leg. Please. Wait. What? Where is Riley? Oh, he's probably outside, come on. Huey, are you sure? I'm sure, you know Riley. Doctor Lee, I have a fake doctor in my room. Fake doctor? Yes, HE looks like a child with an Italian mustache and a white thing on the top of HIS head. You better show him to me, or else I ain't gonna believe ya. Okay, follow me. I better go change, I'm gonna be trapped. Where's Huey and Nadine? 